ask my next guest about this. I believe she has something to say. South Carolina Republican Congresswoman Nancy Mace is joining me now on the phone. So, Congresswoman, first, happy Fourth of July to you. And second, President Joe Biden will not take no for an answer on this, even though the Supreme Court made it clear the authority to uh, relieve student debt lies with Congress. Right. Well, we all knew last year when Joe Biden put this policy out there that it was unconstitutional. Joe Biden knew it was unconstitutional, took a court to come to that decision for him. But this is one of the most more absurd policies of leftist progressives. You know, why should a Waffle House waitress pay for the master's degree of somebody else? Eighty seven percent of Americans without a student without student debt shouldn't be subsidizing the 13 percent of Americans who do. And quite frankly, I'm not going to take economic advice from AOC. No, thanks. <laughs> Representative uh, uh, Mace, I appreciate that. So Alexandria Cortez, as you said, uh, you know, is asking to suspend those interest payments on the federally backed mm -hmm. student loans. What do you think about that plan? And then isn't this is this just meant to buy votes, those college votes for the next totally. election? Yeah, it totally is. It was last time. It is this time. When you take out a loan in this country, you have to take responsibility for your debts. You have to pay that loan Back. And this was a program that was started during COVID when people were really struggling. COVID is over. Even President Biden has admitted COVID is over and we all need to move forward. But at the end of the day, um, the economy, the money that comes from the federal government to pay for different programs isn't magic. It doesn't just grow on trees. It comes from real taxpayers. And we have to be responsible with those dollars. And if you've taken yeah. out a loan, ultimately, you've got to pay it back. So I want to get another topic in while, while I have you here. Russia is claiming the loss of the Wagner force is no threat to its military. As a member of the House Armed Services Committee, how do you see that? Well, I, first of all, no one can trust Russia. No one can trust Putin. And I do believe that most Russians want to end this war, just like Ukraine. Um, you know, and if Joe Biden had been president in the 80s, you know, the Cold War would still be going on. Uh, I think at the end of the day, uh, most people just don't trust what the propaganda that Russia's putting out. So the, the Wagner Group is the one that actually made the progress that some mm -hmm. uh, saw in Ukraine with those brutal tactics, leveling towns uh, as they went. Do you think the Ukrainians now that they're gone can turn the tide and push push the Russians out of that contested area? I'm hopeful with as much money as not only the United States, like money and equipment and defense. Uh, lethal defense that Europe has provided Ukraine. I hope that they can finish this war, that they can end this thing, because everybody wants peace. Everybody around the world wants to see this thing ended, and, I, and, I'm, and I'm hoping that they'll be able to do it in short order. Otherwise, who knows how long this is going to go on. So the former Russian president, Dmitry Medvedev, uh, who has close ties to the Kremlin, says that Western support for Ukraine makes nuclear war, quote, quite possible. How real do you take comments like that? We should all take these kinds of comments seriously and threats seriously. Putin himself uh, has, has put, out, put that information out as well, threatening nuclear forces on Ukraine. And everybody knows that that's wrong. But here's the thing. I don't think this would be happening today if the world thought America was strong, if Russia thought America was strong, or any of our European allies, our allies around the world, including the Asian Pacific region, if we could pro project strength I don't think much of this would be happening. Putin is not afraid of Joe Biden. Yeah, thank you, Congresswoman Nancy Mace from South Carolina.